Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Ricks. Uh, I'm a curator and research scientist in the Arachnology section at the Queensland Museum. So it's a, it's a real shame I wasn't able to see you all at, at World Science Festival Brisbane uh, 2020, uh, but we'll be back in 2021. Uh, and I really look forward to presenting my own research uh, uh, at that time. I do most of my work on trapdoor spiders, those strange subterranean denizens of our forests and rainforests. Uh, I think they're fantastic. They're extremely diverse in Australia. Uh, our, our trapdoor spider fauna is really something to celebrate. Uh, and I'd like to share with you everything that I know uh, about these amazing animals. So I'm often asked, uh, how did I first become interested in spiders? Uh, and I actually remember the moment really well. I was, I was 10 years old, I was a child. Uh, I was in the bush. And I saw what's known as an ant mimicking jumping spider. Jumping spiders are quite common in, in, uh, in our gardens. They're familiar to, to many gardeners. And this particular jumping spider looked like an ant, hence the name ant mimicking jumping spider. They look like ants because they use it for their own protection. If you've ever crushed an ant, you'll know that it, um, it has a strong, strong smell of formic acid. And this means they're distasteful uh, to birds and other predators. So the spiders use this uh, to protect themselves. This spider was amazing. It, it, it looked like an ant, it acted like an ant, it waved its leg, legs around like an ant, uh, and it was with ants on the vegetation. I couldn't, I couldn't get enough of this. I just thought it was absolutely incredible to see this, this tiny little animal to have evolved in, in this way. And it was from that moment on uh, that my interest in spiders started. So ant mimicking jumping spiders are, are, are pretty cool. But the coolest thing I know about spiders, I think, is the amazing age to which some trapdoor spiders are known to live uh, in captivity and in the wild. Uh, a long running study started in the wheat belt of Western Australia in 1973 has shown that some trapdoor spiders can live to over 40 years of age in the wild. And last year, the world's oldest spider one of the spiders in that 1973 study died at the age of 43 years old. I think that's just amazing. So I'm often asked uh, not only how I became an arachnologist, but how long did I have to study to become an arachnologist? Uh, I guess the, the slightly corny answer to that question is that I've never really stopped studying arachnology. Uh, from that moment, I saw that jumping spider when I was 10 years old, it's been a uh, a sort of a lifetime of, of discovery with these extraordinary animals. Uh, but the short answer is it took about 10 years at university to become a professional arachnologist. I uh, did my undergraduate and honours work here in Brisbane, and I did a, 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 a PhD, a doctorate uh, in Western Australia. And all up, it took about 10 years. Uh, it was loads of fun. Um, it was extremely interesting and, and a real voyage of discovery. But it, uh, what it now means is that I can study the animals that I love. So being a taxonomist or someone who classifies and names new species of animals uh, is really, really wonderful thing. It's, it's, uh, it's a great privilege to be able to see species that, that no one's ever seen before uh, as part of your job. Uh, for me, the most exciting discoveries that, that I've ever made uh, were of uh, really unusual spiders called pelican spiders or assassin spiders uh, on Kangaroo Island in South Australia and a really interesting place called Cape Le Grand in Southern Western Australia. The reason assassin or pelican spiders are, are so special and unusual is that they're extremely ancient. They actually uh, go all the way back to the Jurassic. They're known from Jurassic fossils. Uh, today, they're only known from Australia, Madagascar and Southern Africa. And they have this, this remarkable morphology or, or body shape. They, they actually look like pelicans. Uh, they're really strange animal. we're very, animals and we're very lucky to have them in Australia. Uh, they're normally found in rainforests. So to discover these two new species, one on Kangaroo Island and, and one at Cape Le Grand National Park in Western Australia, was probably the, the, the highlight of my field career. So that's my story. I, I hope you found it interesting. And I really look forward to seeing you all at World Science Festival Brisbane in 2021.